We turn now to a woman terrorized by an ex-boyfriend, finally able to sleep a little easier tonight. The man allegedly beat up the victim in a convenience store. While the victim was waiting for the man to be arrested, she says he tracked her down and shot her in the leg. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig hears from the victim about how this terrifying situation escalated and how officers finally located the man before it was too late. Tired of living in fear, Destiny was desperate for help. And today here at the 12th Precinct came the news she was waiting for. I'm one of those women who never said a lot or never did too much. But now I'm so tired and now I need help. Destiny heard Lindsay said it's her ex-boyfriend who has been terrorizing her. One of the attacks taking place just a few weeks ago on Memorial Day inside a party store near Livernois in the lodge. He instantly socks me in my face and I start to bleed out. And this is inside the party store? Inside the party store. I made it to the back of the store around the chip rack. But in between this happening and him socking me, the people behind the glass tell us to get out of his store with that. So I made it around the chip rack and I'm trying to call 911, but the call's not going through. No one's picking up. Her ex allegedly stole her purse before fleeing the location. He's now been charged with robbery and domestic violence. And Destiny says it wasn't the first time he's assaulted her. Well, he's got an extensive criminal history with a lot of domestic violence is issues in the past. Detroit police say they were trying to find Destiny's ex since the party store assault, but he managed to elude them when they were close. He will flee at any sign of police, uh, either in a vehicle or on foot. Then last week, late at night, as Destiny was arriving at a friend's house, she says a car was slowly pulling up and a masked man got out and she quickly realized it was her ex. Oh, he attacks me, pushed me into the door, um, tell me, yeah. I got you now and starts firing off shots, shoots me in my leg and continue to fire shots as he run back to the car. The bullet shattered Destiny's leg. Every day I think about what would be his reason of doing something so cruel to me. And the only thing I can think is if he killed me, I can't go to court to say what he's done. But why, but why do this? Why make things even more worse than what you've already done when I just ask you to leave me alone? That's all I want to do is be left alone. Then today, as we were talking to Detroit police, the news Destiny has been waiting for. That was uh, one of my sergeants from my special operations unit. We uh, just got Mr. Moore into custody. I'm just thankful and thank everybody who, who've been out there looking for him, risking their life possibly to find him. And I'm just thankful. She's thankful her ex is off the street and hopes he's given a high bond so she can finally rest. And she says this to anyone in an abusive relationship. If you're scared to get help, still go and try. You never know if you never try. I wish I tried way longer before now. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. If you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, there is help available. The number for the National Domestic Violence Hotline it's right on your screen right now. That number 1-800-799-7233.